everyone, I'm your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your daily forecast for the day of Wednesday, January 31st, 2018. First, I want to start by saying happy full moon lunar eclipse. Today is the day <laughs> that that's happening. You can see it right here uh, in the chart in Leo. Uh, and it's going to occur between the hours, I want to say, of 6 a.m. and 11 a.m. That's because at 6 a.m. right here you get the moon in an exact opposition to the sun, making it a full moon. And then at 11 a.m. you get the moon on the north node here, which makes it an eclipse. <laughs> For those of you who are curious about eclipses in astrology, they only happen at the nodes. <laughs> okay, so whenever you have a full moon or a new moon at the nodes, which are related to the moon, the nodes of the moon, then that's an eclipse. Otherwise, it's just a regular full moon and a new moon and we have normally we'll have one full moon and one new moon a month so that although it doesn't quite work out that way <laughs> this month um, exactly okay so that's what's going on there what the nodes are just so you know are an imaginary point in space so they're not like an object or a planet or something that you can touch see and feel it's an imaginary point in space okay and that is the point in space when the sun, the earth, and the moon all align in what is called the ecliptic, <laughs> okay, when everything kind of comes together, right, and you've got the north point and you've got the south point coming in. Um, the closer the moon is, just to give you some more information, the closer the moon is to the nodes and the closer the sun is to the nodes, the more complete the eclipse is, the more total the eclipse is. The further the sun and the moon are away from the nodes, the more partial it is, all right, so that's what it is. This one is actually pretty close. I mean, look, the full moon is going to happen with the sun here at 11 degrees and the nodes are at 14. So it's going to happen about three degrees away from the from the ecliptic and where the nodes are and from everything aligning. OK, so that's what's happening there. <laughs> Just to give you some background on all of that. Hope I did not did not confuse you. Now, astrologically, what I think all of that means here is since it's in Leo, the today is really all about what makes you happy, what you enjoy, what you love. Okay, Leo rules naturally the fifth house, the sun, again, also kind of is involved with Leo. The sun is the ruler of Leo in a lot of ways. So when you think of that, the question really is what makes you burn the most brightly in life? What do you love in life? What makes you happy, the most happy out of everything? What do you enjoy? And I think that's what we're trying to figure out today is what do I want my life to be about? <laughs> How do I do more of what I love to be happier in life, to have a life that I feel like I love, that I enjoy, that just <laughs> helps me accomplish the things that are really really important to me. Um, I think that's what the, the full moon here is asking you to do is to think about what you need to be happy and to not just think about it, but to do it, to make it happen and to finish or to complete anything we've been working on in the past that it is that we enjoy. All right. With the full moon here being on the north node, being happy has been a huge thing for us. Working on passion projects, doing things that you enjoy has been really, really big. And the full moon here is saying, OK, now that you've been spending a lot of time trying to figure out what makes you happy and trying to work and understand that better now it's the time to actually do the thing that makes you happy to fully commit to it to go all in on it and to make sure that you have everything that you need in your life to be happy to move forward with this project or with this thing in your life that you've been working out that you thought you needed to enjoy your life more <laughs> okay so I think that's just what the lunar eclipse is saying is how can you fully step into the thing that you enjoy <laughs> how can you move forward on that how can you understand understand better what you need in life to be happy, okay, and, and make some of the final moves here to make that happiness, make this joy, make this passion project that you've been working on truly manifest in your life, <laughs> right? So I think that's to me what the eclipse is all about. Of course, with the sun and the solar eclipse being here later on and with Venus very close to the eclipse and Mercury moving into Aquarius today too, I think there's a lot of thinking that we're doing about our future, about where our life is going, about where we see our life, about the kind of life we ultimately want to have. I think there's also a lot of thinking too on the groups of people we want to associate with uh, in Aquarius that comes in and on who we really are on the inside, how we can feel most comfortable to express ourself and who we are and our identity. And I think the full moon is saying, that's great. 
I want you to do that. I want you to reach some goals of yours. I want you to feel more comfortable in your own skin. <laughs> I want you to associate with people that truly get you and truly understand you, okay? Which will be a big thing at the solar eclipse in the next two weeks. But before you can reach some goals of yours, before you understand who you need in your life and to start to associate with those people, and before you start to feel more comfortable being yourself, you first need to make sure that you are doing something that you want to do, that you're doing something that you enjoy and that you love and that you have a life that you want because there's no reason in reaching goals and dreams for the future if you don't like the goals and dreams you're reaching for. <laughs> you're not going to be able to feel comfortable being yourself if you don't like the person that you are <laughs> um, coming in here. So I think that's what's going on here is that we're about to have to take a step back at the solar eclipse in two weeks to make our dreams manifest, to envision a life for ourselves, to think big picture, but before you can think big picture, before you can move forward on some goals and dreams of yours, you need to make sure you have the right dreams. You need to make sure you have the right plans. You need to make sure you're doing what you really want and really love so that you can feel more comfortable and so that everything can be easier <laughs> for you moving forward later on, taking these things that you enjoy, envisioning a new life and making things really happen with them, okay? So I think that's what's going on here um, with the with the full moon. And we're trying to kind of balance here how we can do something we really want, do something we really enjoy, while also starting to think a little bit more about the future and how we can take it into new chapters, but needing first to understand better what we love, what we enjoy, and what makes us happy before we really can begin to take all of these projects that we're working on, expand them <laughs> here, move forward with them, and get more understanding of where it is that we're going with that, okay? So that's what I see going on there. That's going to be happening, yeah, for most of the day here um, because that's going to happen at 11 a.m. with the moon on the north node here. Um, what else? Yep, the moon, of course, is going to opposite Venus, which I kind of just talked about at 3 p.m. And then at 10 o'clock at night, okay, there's a few hours, <laughs> quite a few hours in between the eclipse here. The moon is then going to come off the north node and it's going to come into a square here with Jupiter at 10 o'clock at night mountain time, okay? So after you've done a lot of thinking for most of the day, trying to figure out what do I need in my life to make me happy, <laughs> supremely happy, <laughs> um, and what do I really, really enjoy? Then the question becomes here with the square coming in, what do I need to change in order to let more of that happiness in, in order to let more of that joy into my life? Okay, I know I've been talking a lot about changes too, but I think this happening on an eclipse, especially with the square to Jupiter here, is really asking you what roadblocks are standing in your way. <laughs> what, is what is stopping you from having the life you've always wanted? What is stopping you from being truly happy? What is stopping you from manifesting your full potential? <laughs> taking, um, standing up for your life, you know, taking the initiative to put your life in the place that it is that you want, um, whether it's physical, you know, is there something physically that's stopping you? Is there something emotional that's stopping you? Is there something spiritual that's stopping you? I think this eclipse, especially at the nighttime with the moon coming off of this eclipse, squaring Jupiter is saying, look, you have to figure out how to remove any roadblocks from your life. I don't care what situation you have found yourself in. You alone, especially with Leo being the sign of leadership, have to do what you can to make your life better, to remove anything standing in your way, to give you the life that it is that you want this is the time to do it okay ideally you've already been working on it here and the moon and the eclipse and today is going to help you get rid of the last bits the last bits of things that are stopping you from doing the life and living the life you were always meant to have <laughs> okay so that's what i see going on there because it is a square it could be frustrating again having to dig deeper <laughs> emotionally to get rid of some kind of emotional roadblocks that are stopping you and to make more changes in life so you can fully step into your joy, step into what makes you happy, but I see it being very good with Jupiter involved here if you can do it to manifest the life that you want, all right? So I think it's gonna be a good thing. Another reason why I do like this is because after the moon comes off to the square to Jupiter at 10 p.m., then it makes a moon, then the moon then trines Uranus over here um, into tomorrow, okay? Maybe it comes exactly like one or two a.m. tomorrow, okay? And that's saying here, you can, Make any more changes that you need to make in your life to be happy. Get rid of anything standing in your way that's holding you back. So much freedom is gonna come in <laughs> at the end of today, very, very end of today and into tomorrow, where you're gonna be free to 
live the life you've always wanted, <laughs> to express yourself more authentically, to do the things that you've always wanted to do and to break free from things that have been holding you back. You know, so it's just like, there's so much good stuff that can come. I think, I think this eclipse is going to bring so many good stuff here. If you can just fight time and time again, all of these things that are stopping you from stepping into your potential and from living the life that you were always meant to live. I think there's a lot of good to be had here. <laughs> okay. Especially with the moon here and a trine to Uranus. Of course, the sun in Aquarius going on. So we've got a lot of that Uranian Aquarian energy coming in very soon. <laughs> Already, really, with Venus and Mercury being there, saying, look, if you can figure out what you need to be happy, <laughs> and if you can make that happen and, and get everything else out of your way, it's going to be much easier for you after to embrace your life, be the person you've always wanted to be, and feel more comfortable with it. But you just maybe have to make some of the hard choices the hard decisions too and follow through on some projects complete them all so that you can start to feel more of the joy and more of the freedom that comes from truly being yourself and doing something that you like at the end of the day all right so that's what I've got for you this eclipse other things that I want to mention let's see is I said Mercury moving into Aquarius, so increasingly thinking here about our goals, about where life is going, about who we are, also trying to come up with unique solutions to our problems. If you feel like it's very hard for you to be happy in life, maybe today is a good day to do something different that you have not done before, especially with the Uranus influence coming in at the end of the night. Try some kind of new solution. Do something weird and unusual. You might be surprised how well that can work <laughs> to help you out. All right, so we've got the Mercury into Aquarius. We also do have Mercury as it moves into Aquarius in a sextile over here with Mars too. You've given lots, I think, of energy here, lots of um, communication as well, and lots of action to do something new, to put your life in a better place, to find more of the passion in life, to explore more of your options, to step into a life that really excites you, that it is that you really like, and to communicate with other people about it and to be more open about it. So I see that being a very, very positive thing coming in here. If you can move forward being happy on some things that you really like to help you open up some big doors, okay, to feel much better doing something you want to do. All right, now I'm going to pull some cards. I think I'm going to pull three today for the eclipse. I'll do challenges first um, of the eclipse, blessings from the eclipse, and some advice. All right, so let's do your challenges first. We've got the four, the four of pentacles upright. This to me is a card of being too conservative and holding on too tight to things. All right, we've got, we've got the sun here, Mercury and Venus in Aquarius. And we've had a whole bunch of Uranus stuff just happen the past week. And I think this is saying, stop holding on to things that too tightly. Stop holding on to an old lifestyle, an old way of living, an old way of thinking. Aquarius is the most forward thinking, innovative sign of the Zodiac. <laughs> like if you're stuck in an old way of living, then you're, then it's not going to work for you. This eclipse is going to be very hard for you and things are going to get even harder from here on out. But if you are letting go of the things that are no longer working for you, owning your power and owning what it is that you have, I think it's going to help you um, in the future here to create more of a life that it is that you really want. And I think you need to make sure that you let go of the things that are not working for you so you can step into a life that is even better for you and to let go of the things that are holding you back. Okay. So that's what I want to say there. The um, blessings, I guess, of this eclipse. Oh, I love it. The star. This is a good one. I think this one here, to me, is one of following your path, living in your lane, doing something that is really, really good for you, meant for you, important for you. I think if you're making sure that you're doing what you need to feel happy in life, you're going to feel like you are right where you need to be. <laughs> you know, I think you're going to have so much more insight and inspiration about your life. You know, I like to think of this card as having the North Star at the top. So I think if you can do what you need to be happy, to find your joy and find your bliss with this eclipse, I think you're going to start to feel like everything, like you found your place in the heavens, <laughs> you know, and like you found your North Star and can follow your North star and your intuition to manifest the life that it is that you've always wanted but you want to make sure you're listening to your heart today and listening to what it is that you really want so that you can continue to 
get the inspiration that it is that you need and feel like you are putting your life in the right place moving forward. So I think there's lots of power to step into a fate, a destiny, a future that really is meant for you at this eclipse, if you can accept it. All right. And the advice, <laughs> even though that kind of was advice, here is the seven. It's the seven of swords reversed. This to me is a card of doing things in secret, especially when it's upright. And I think reversed it saying, don't do things in secret here. <laughs> You've got great projects that you're working on, cool plans, things that are awesome, really coming into play here, I think with so much going on. And it's like, why, why be quiet about it? Why be ashamed of yourself for doing things that you really, really like and that you really, really want and enjoy, especially with Leo coming in here saying, be proud of all of the work that you've done. Be proud of who you are. Let people know about what's going on. Let people share and the excitement that it is that you have and if you're doing everything you know honestly and if you're doing everything genuinely then you have nothing to worry about at this eclipse being the person I think that you are always meant to be as long as you don't hold yourself back from doing things you need to do all right so that's what I've got for you this video hope it was not too long <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.